Um, my name's Dr Helen Scales and I'm a marine biologist and a writer. So I'm talking about my book Spirals in Time, the secret life and curious afterlife of seashells. It's partly about the lives of the animals that make seashells, the, the mollusks. I want to kind of bring to life these wonderful creatures that leave their parts behind on a beach and kind of ask questions about whether the shells came from, why they were all sorts of different shapes, all that kind of stuff. And the second part of the book is really about how people have used shells for thousands of years, how these, these cast-off bits of mollusks have found their way into our lives. There's all sorts of things from um, jewels and gems to food and um, kind of just looking at the symbolism and the meaning of shells as well that's kind of always been with people since the, the dawn of humanity, really. Mollusks and their shells are found all the way around the world, so they're kind of inherently something that you find wherever you go in the world. Um, but many of the stories I tell, and I hope some of the stories I'm going to tell um, tonight to the audience, really relate to particular places, the things that people do with those shells in those different places. So um, I went to West Africa to look into um, a trade in oysters that grow um, among the roots of mangrove forests in the Gambia. Um, and that's a very it's particular to that part of the world, but you see similar sorts of people harvesting seafood food um, using mollusks and shells in different ways in all, all parts of the world. So, so I found while I was researching the book, I went on several journeys myself looking and finding people doing things with shells in different ways. Um, so I really think that, you know, they are this kind of common object that you would find everywhere from your back garden to, you know, the top of a mountain to the bottom of the ocean. So I think there's just inherently this sort of geographical story to tell about them.